we can do is set you on the right track to taking control back of your life. Um, that's my mission, and I was able to condense it to these uh, paragraphs, but essentially what it is, is something that was, um, that came out of uh, my experience going all the way back to my that situation. But when you give that medicine, and you see that peacefulness come over the patient's face, uh, it's not just because the pain is gone, it's because the stress is gone, it's because the misery is gone, that process. So, from that point on, you realize that there are things to be done and there are things to be tried and there's always something to be done. Even something that has failed in the past may work in the future for the same patient. So why stop? Why not help with pain? And that's the specialty of pain management. And I am very lucky to be an anesthesiologist first, so I appreciate the whole process of using all these tools. But I'm not really an anesthesiologist. I'm more than that. I'm a father. I'm a husband. I have a life. And when patients come in to see me, I sit down and chat with them. Patients, and but the best kind of communication, the one where I see the most result, it is where the patient walks in. And I get patients that way all the time. They just walk in. And we take time and we, we talk. Uh, we take time and we talk when a patient comes in for the first time not just because I enjoy talking, which I do, but also because that short circuits that whole disappointment process. But what we do know is that we have a lot of tools at our disposal, and my job is to convince you that it's worth trying and trying again. Um, yeah. As long as you're willing to try as a patient, we will be here and there will be something else we can do and I will not give up because like I said, I take it personally.